Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to do something very unusual for me. I never do these kinds of talking videos on this channel, but today I have to because damn girl, we have a lot to talk about. But yeah, I actually have another channel where I do more vlogs and just a lot of random videos but on this channel we well we mainly do tutorials and stuff for all subscribers who are new or are all viewers who are pretty much new to this channel every month i unbox a goodie box it's a beauty subscription you receive a box for a price well the same price every month you receive around five beauty products you have a lot of these subscriptions but goodie box is kind of new outside of Denmark and it came to Sweden as well and I tar started to subscribe to, to this box and I loved it it was so amazing so I do done it every month I spent a lot of time doing these videos editing and uh, taking photos, uploading on Instagram on the boxes and everything. Goodie box have again and again asked to share my pictures. They want to repost them. And Goodie box had um, affiliate link thing. So every subscriber receive their own link. You can share and you can get goodie points. And with the goodie points, you can eventually buy goodie boxes. And when you share the link, the, the one who received the link could start the subscription and they received 50% uh, Well, they got 50% off the first box This was an amazing thing I... Um, well, my, my viewers use this link a lot So I could continue to buy the boxes And obviously the people who use the link could get this 50% off you know when you start to subscribe to something you really want to test it out before you know if it's worth it and receiving this um, discount or yeah well 50% off uh, it's not a big commitment uh, because you pay a very little price for the first box so the whole thing was very amazing then came the corona situation and they used it as a reason for you know taking away this affiliate program thing and that made me were upset and um, but still I have to accept it and then I well, continued my unboxings and everything and then well my my channel gets bigger and I, I subscribe to more boxes from other com uh, companies and it's a bit tough because I do this for free I don't get money or anything of my channel yet at least and I don't know if I ever will so you have to decide which boxes and what products is worth it and I had no problems with goodie box at all it came to a point where I emailed them and asked if I as a influencer or youtuber could re get my own link even though they took took it away in general uh, I, I, won't, I won't ask if I can get my own link just for my subscribers and viewers and they very kindly but still yeah i i didn't like the answer uh well they said a lot of uh, people want to collaborate with us and we can do it like pretty much and yeah that was that and in my last goodie box unboxing i talked about this and my disappointment i received a lot of views you know and a lot of people use the link i have given goodie box free commercials and they've used my pictures and sometimes even without mentioning m me as the photographer of the picture and I, I talked about all the disappointments of this <sighs> and it was very recent I don't know how long ago but I think it was a week or no two weeks maybe and I said maybe this is my last unboxing video because 
I feel like they um, use the customers and they're not really listening to the customers and I feel used and I just talked about the whole situation um, today so now, now to the point today I went to uh, their website and uh, I was looking up if they have launched or, or uh, upload anything about advent uh, the year's advent calendar because I don't know if they're going to do advent calendar or not because I want to unbox them on my channel so I went to their website and yeah okay I don't know if you see it so much so when you go to the website you just have their yeah welcome welcome and you know just talking about how good they are when you scroll down to you know the points where you see contact and everything you can see happy invite for at first glimpse I'm like okay is this some kind of glitch uh, on the website because I've seen this um, a couple of days ago but you couldn't click it now when you click it you come to another side and it says happy moments invite your friends and receive 200 good points your friend uh, gets 50% of the first box so this is pretty much what they had before and uh, well yeah you can log in and I can see my own um, link so apparently all of a sudden they decide to take back the link thing and it's a bit weird they haven't emailed me or contacted me they have taken it back and for everyone I don't really I'm not really sure why, why they do that because well it's good but if people get too much discounts they will probably take this away again in a business point of view I would give influencers youtubers Instagrammers a link not all the customers but it's good I'm happy this is what I wanted I don't even really know what to say about this whole situation I, I don't know what I want to say with this video but it feels like you know but I don't know if it's because of me or if more people talked about this and you know share their opinions and thoughts about it I'm happy they have taken it back so use my link now you find it in the description box but it's a bit weird it feels like I actually reach people with my channel and actually I just have to talk about the whole situation because people may think I hate them or something I definitely I'm not and I said it in my previous video that I love goodie box and I don't have you know I, I, just, I just love them uh, well not them but butcher box and it feels so the whole situation feels stupid and I'm just disappointed but I still I want to buy the boxes but it's just something feels like I shouldn't because it feels like they used me but now it actually I don't know if it's because of me as I said it's very I feel like it's very important to clarify that but I hope it has something to do with my video because then it feels like they just stepped up and like well we understand what you're saying and we are very mature and we will take it back we listen to our customers and I think they actually did and I'm I'm happy and I I actually had to give them credit for stepping up and listen and change accepting what the customers want but I, I have to give them credit for that and it's awesome and now I actually can continue to share my unboxing videos and it feels good because now I know I'm not getting used it was probably not their intention to to do this but it's my experience and yeah I, I'm, I'm happy I will continue to unbox the boxes and everything feels good and it feels I'm proud 
proud of them and I'm proud of myself for actually sharing my opinions. So what's your thoughts about it? Please discuss with me, just comment and uh, your opinion. I feel like a lot of people give the give goodie box a lot of shit when you go on, on Facebook and uh, everything. People talk a lot, a lot shit and they're just being a bit rude and you know, oh I received a product uh, that's broken and I received it too late, I have problems. You still have to understand that it's a company and they have a lot of customers so uh, things go wrong and they package the... Uh, well this is what I think but y you have someone who pack, pack the, the package and then they leave it to someone who leaves it to the terminal and then, then it goes out in cars and they have a long transportation um, I mean I, I think they're being shipped from Denmark so it's a long way everything can happen in that on that trip or on the shipping so I don't think they throw the stuff and just being reckless or just being mean they want happy customers because they they want obviously they want money that's why while you you have a company you you have to get mo a money flow and you have to keep everything going so obviously they want their customers to be happy and that's incidents who can happen to any company and the bigger you get the more you can ensure that these mistakes uh, will be avoid but they're still growing and you have to have some patience with that you have to have some understanding and I think they're not deserving all the hate they actually get and I think they will change a lot you know because you have to adapt and you have to just keep on um, growing and learn and um, yeah so I, I'm not just saying this because I feel bad or anything this is my opinion and it's been all the time a lot of shit they get is not it's not what, what they earn and um, on the other side so, some critique and um, stuff is actually something they need to take in and this was one of uh, those situations and they they changed and they adapt and they do what they should do so um, they done everything right and they corrected the mistake or, or the situation so yeah I think this is an issue with, with a lot of companies smaller companies uh, companies uh, who is in a um, expand, expanding process they um, get a lot of hate and I think that's a bit concerning because that can um, stop a lot of small companies to actually grow and uh, develop and all of that I just think people need to have some sympathy for companies not just goodie box you can start to question a lot when the company is actually big like glossy box it's a very big company and they do a lot of wrongs in my opinion and they they've been a big company for a long time so they should really listen and they don't i think they're very yeah i don't like glossy box so much i like the boxes now and then but mostly i, I don't i have some issues with the uh, products sometimes because they uh, they give you free samples you pay for the box you pay for the products and I think it's it's not really right to take people's money and give them free samples of stuff they can get for free in a store. So that's a well, that's shady. That's shady. And Goodie Box haven't done anything like that. They're not like Glossy Box. Uh, so you have you have to really think about it and be you need to be nice. And uh, sometimes they, it's actually something you need to take up and I respect that um, and I hope people respect this. Well, it's just my opinion and this is a very short video, I know, and uh, something 
um, different fr from what I usually do, but yeah, I felt like I needed to upload this. So don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and of course, if you don't want to miss my future videos, you can click on the bell and turn the notifications on. See you next video. Bye! Bye.